We're now going to do a few example questions from the Khan Academy exercise on the standard algorithm. So we're asked which of the following correctly multiplies 74 times 8 using the standard algorithm. So pause this video and see if you can work on that before we do it together. All right, now let's just remind ourselves what the standard algorithm is. And in fact, let's just remind ourselves what an algorithm is. An algorithm is a series of steps that you can do to do something. So you'll often hear about a computer algorithm, but you can also have algorithms and math, just a, a method for doing something. And the standard, algori <laughs> the standard algorithm, that's the typical or the standard way that a lot of people will tackle a multiplication question or computation like this. But just as a reminder, in the standard algorithm, if we're multiplying 74 times 8, we would write the 8 in the 1's place right below the 4 in the 1's place. And then you multiply each of these places times the 8. So you would start with the 4 times the 8. You would get 32. 32 you can express as 2 1's and 3 10's. So you'll put that 3 up there. And then you would multiply the 7 times the 8. 7 times 8 is 56, and that's going to be 56 tens, because it's 7 tens times 8 is 56 tens, plus the 3 tens you had before get you to 59 tens. And so you would write over here, that's 59 tens, and so this would be 592. Now when you look at the choices, that's exactly what happened here in choice C. Just for kicks, we can see what went wrong in these other ones. Let's see, in this first one, when we multiplied the, when we multiplied the four ones times eight ones, according to this, this person somehow got three ones and two tens and 23. Four times eight is not 23. You could rule that one out. And here, when they multiplied the four ones times the eight ones, that would be 32. That, so it's two ones and then another three tens. So should, there should have been a three up here. And so that way when you multiply the seven tens times eight, you get 56, but then you had this other three tens, so you would really need to get to 59 tens. So that's, one, that's why that one didn't work. Let's do another example here, and this is going to be with a different type of question. So here, we are told that Don starts to use the standard algorithm to solve 418 times five. His work is shown below. What number should Don replace Y with? Pause this video and see if you can figure it out. Okay, so the way to think about this, this might at first confuse you a little bit because you know, why and why is there a Y there in the first place? But what they're really trying to get at is making sure that you or we understand what Don is trying to do when he's trying to do the standard algorithm. So as we just highlighted in the last example, the way that we would tackle this with the standard algorithm, actually let me write it down, 418 times five. We would say eight ones times five ones is going to be 40 ones. 40 ones we could write as zero ones and four tens. And so that looks like the place where, they, where Don stopped computing. So he's on his way to solving the whole thing. He's just partially computed it so far. But just by doing that, we know what the, the Y should be. The Y should be four. So what number should Don replace the Y with? Should, he should replace it with a four. And it's representing Y tens or four tens. And of course, you could keep going with this computation. If Don were then to say, okay, I have one 10, times five, that'd be five tens, plus another four tens, that's nine tens. And then last but not least, if Don wanted to figure out, well, he's got four hundreds here, times five is 20 hundreds, which you can express as zero hundreds and two thousands. Or you could just view this as 20 hundreds. So they're not asking us to do the entire computation. We're just trying to figure out what Don did, essentially in this first step. What number should he have written here instead of a y? So y could be replaced with the four. It's representing the four, which is really in the tens place, so four tens.